Hello, everyone. My name is Dan Yangzheng. I'm a first-year PhD student at WPI. And today, my topic is about neutron diffraction. I will talk about this topic from the following four aspects. The principle of neutron diffraction, the equipment of neutron diffraction, the properties of neutron diffraction, and the last one is the application of neutron diffraction. Neutral diffraction is a crystallographic method for the determination of the atomic and magnetic structure of materials. The first neutron diffraction experiment was in 1945 by Ernest using the graphite recorder at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Along with the Clifford, the standing one, they together outlined the principle of neutral diffraction technique. Neutron diffraction reveals bulk information of the sample materials and is routinely used in complex and extremely environments. Neutron diffraction method can be divided into two interactions. Nuclear diffraction, diffraction due to the interaction between neutrons and the atomic nuclei, and the magnetic diffraction, diffraction due to the interaction between the magnetic momentums of neutron and the magnetic momentum of atoms. Uh, the, the measurement principle of neutron diffraction is based on the Bragg's equation, same as the X-ray diffraction. Uh, Bragg's diffraction occurs when electromagnetic radiation or subatomic particle waves with wavelengths comparable to atomic spacing are uh, incident upon a crystalline sample are uh, scattered in a specular fashion by the atoms in the system and undergo constructive interference according to the Bragg's law. One of the greatest features of the neutron scattering is that neutrons are scattered by every single atomic nucleus in the materials, whereas in X-ray studies, they are scattered by the electron density. In addition, neutral can be scattered by magnetic momentum of the atoms. The intensity of scattered neutrons will be due to the wavelength at which it's excluded from the source. The diffraction intensity of neutron diffraction is also similar to X-ray diffraction. The diffraction patterns show Bragg's peaks. Peaks positions are directly related to the crystal lattice dimension and the geometry, where peak intensities are determined by the atomic arrangement in the unit cell and are related to the structure factor by the following relationship. In this relationship, B is the neutron scattering length and depend on the atomics in the sample. HKL are Miller index of lattice plane and the XYZ defines the atomic position in the unit cell. The equipment of neutron diffraction consists of neutron source, neutron reactor, and neutron detector. A neutron source is a device that em emits neutron, and there are many ways can produce neutrons like radioisotopes, which undergo uh, uh, fission, and the radioisotopes, which decay with high energy photons, uh, co located with uh, beryllium. For research reactor, some components are needed, including a crystal monochromator, as well as filters to select the desired neutral wavelengths. Some parts of the setup may also be mobile. At a source, the time of flight techniques is used to store the energy of the incident neutron. Uh, for a neutron detector, the neutron detection hugely depends on the velocity of the particles. As the velocity increases, shorter wavelengths are produced and the less efficient the de uh, detection becomes. The particles that are excluded to materials need to be as close as possible in order to have an accurate signal from the detector. This signal needs to be quickly transcluded and uh, detector should be ready to take the next measurement. 
In gas detector, the cylinder is filled up with hydrogen. The electron produced by the secondary ionization in interacted with the positively charged uh, uh, charged uh, anode wire. Because of its properties, neutron diffraction has many advantages and disadvantages. For the advantages, uh, at first, the neutron can probe nuclei. Neutron have more ability to scatter lighter in, in element and its isotopies than other diffraction techniques, which lead it sensitive to light atom and isotopic uh, substitution. Neutron have zero charge with which makes it ha have highly penetrating and no destructive to the sample and can be used in extreme environment. Neutral also has spin, which makes the polarization available. The last advantage is that it has a magnetic momentum, which can be used to study the magnetic structure and spin excitation of materials. The neutron diffraction spectrum contains magnetic ions and magnetic structure information. The specific magnetic periodic structure can be obtained by fitting a central mode to a specific peak position of neutron diffraction. The disadvantage of neutron diffraction is its low brilliance of source, which the test sample must be large enough and the data obtained from neutron diffraction will have a statistical noise. And also because of its penetrating, it's very hard to control the background of neutron diffraction data. And also the materials used for study need to be large enough. The neutron, uh, neutral property of neutron at the same time makes it hard to manipulate, accelerate, and detector, which increase the difficulty of operation of neutron experiment. The, the neutron diffraction can be used for determination of structure, locating lighting atoms, at identifying uh, atomic isotope studying magnetic properties, and the last one is a single crystal study analysis. Here is a real example of neutron diffraction to determine of a complex structure. The scattering power scales with the Z number for X-ray, whereas for neutrons, the scattering power depends on the isotope. But in non-continual fashion and uh, uh, not as a function of Z, this leads to a heavy bias of a diffraction result toward, towards to the heavy atoms in the case of X-ray. This figure shows the simulated pattern for the three structure uh, module proposal for cubic UC2, a non quenchable phase exi existing between 1823 uh, 1, uh, and uh, 1, uh, 2004 degrees C. The three crystal structures are fundamentally different in the arrangement of the carbon atoms. However, the simulated X-ray diffraction pattern appear very similar due to the bias towards the uranium sub-lattice, which is the fifth central cubic lattice in all three cases. The simulated neutron diffraction pattern, on the other hand, shows a substantial contribution of carbon sub-lattice to the diffraction signal, allowing to the discriminate the three different structure. This example uh, uh, has the great uh, advantage neutron diffraction all offers over X-ray diffraction for crystal structure investment of neutron materials. Neutron diffraction can be used to establish the structure of low atomic number materials like proteins and uh, uh, much more easily with low flux, flux than at a, a radiation source. This is because some low atomic number materials have the higher cross section for neutral interactions than higher atomic weight materials. One major advantage of neutron diffraction over X-ray diffraction is that the lattice is rather insensitive to the presence of hydrogen in a structure, 
whereas the nuclei hydrogen are stronger scatter for new neutrons. The greater uh, scattering power of pro protons means that the position of hydrogen in a crystal and its thermal motion can be de determined with greater uh, precision by neutral diffraction. When neutrons are in incident on ferromagnetic or anti-ferromagnetic materials, in addition to the usual aut aut atomic uh, nuclei and nuclear scattering, they are also sub to magnetic scattering caused by the orderly arrangement of the magnetic momentums of the atoms in the crystal. The magnetic scattering of neutrons caused by the magnetic order not only changes the intensity of Bragg's diffraction peaks generated by the original nuclear scatter, terrain, but also presents additional super lattice diffraction peaks. The earliest uh, experiment experiment using neutron diffraction to study the magnetic structure was that magnetic momentum of the magnets uh, atoms in the uh, MNO in the 101 plane are opposite to each other at the temperature of liquid nitrogen. Thank you, everyone.